Hey guys and gals, Mancruz1974, back at ya! Been a long time since I've done a Minecraft type video. This is sort of a special kind of Minecraft. I actually have a world going on right now that is a Dire Wolf 20 world, and I mean, everybody does Dire Wolf 20 worlds. Everybody's probably gonna do the Infinity World, everybody's doing Crash Landing, everybody's doing everything. What I've decided to do is come up with a new world that is mod specific. Something I've done playing mine, uh, Dire Wolf 20 is that there's just, I couldn't even imagine it in Infinity, but in Dire Wolf 20 there's just so many mods to use that you, you use a little bit from here and you, lose, you use a little bit from there, uh, you know, because every mod has their different aspects that it does a little bit better than others, and I, you know, I was like, you know, what's the point? So I was on Reddit the other day and I saw a few people mentioning that they like to watch Let's Plays where people pick a certain mod and they play with that mod. Now, this is actually kind of difficult to do. Um, there's a few mods you can do with it, but um, I decided that while Industrial Craft is still somewhat relevant in 1.7.10 of Minecraft, that I would actually do a Industrial Craft 2 Let's Play. Now, I'll show you all the mods I have in here right now. Industrial Craft 2 is the main mod that does, you know, like the ore processing and uh, the, everything like that. But unfortunately, going through Industrial Craft 2, you don't have any transportation, like how to transport things from one thing to the other. Uh, when Industrial Craft originally came out, it was kind of meant to work with Buildcraft. So then Buildcraft was the transportation system, and it had its own uh, uh, engines and stuff like that. But I'm going to use the industrial craft power supply and everything. So I'll just go over a little bit what I have in here. Okay, so obviously all the forge stuff, Minecraft Ford. Uh, Roma is basically for backing up. You have to back up your Minecrafts nowadays. I've How many times I I had to use a backup with my Dire Wolf is not even funny, especially once you get uh, bigger in there. So uh, code chicken core, not enough items, industrial craft 2. Obviously, the stuff that goes with Industrial Craft 2 is like advanced solar panels. I did add the dimensional world to this just for I can have a mining world, I'm not using a Mistcraft or anything like that. There's the aroma backup. Uh, there's Buildcraft. I do have Chisel 2. I do love Chisel 2. I mean, that's not really anything but a graphics type thing. Uh, Ender Storage. I need something to be able to transport from one dimension to the other. Uh, I use fast leaf, de uh, leaf decay because it's just awesome. Again, another IC2 add-on gravitational suit, a nuclear control 2, iron chest. Uh, I don't have anything like A2 in here or any of the big, big mods that will do anything like that. So I had to have something that had like kind of a bigger chest in it. A uh, journey map, that's my, my map. Uh, logistics pipes, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure if it can use industrial craft power or not. I will find out. If I can't, then I'm going to be stuck with just using build craft. But since logistics pipes and build craft use the same kind of graphics for their pipes, and logistics pipe was an add on to build craft, I don't know if it still is, but uh, that's cool. Mantle is just, uh, uh, it's one of the core mod for a mod, I forgot which one. Um, all my NEI stuff, NEI integration, I got Wayla, and I do have Tinker's Construct, and I do have Dense Ores, because I hate mining, like, by hand. <laughs> it's just, I've, I've, pl I've been playing Minecraft for so long that I just don't feel like spending days and days in mining. So, there you go. That's all the mods there are, so basically, as you can tell, that the main mod is Industrial Craft. That's, that's going to be the main tech mod. Uh, Buildcraft is slowly following up. Now, Buildcraft was converted to... Uh, RF, but I won't be using any power systems from uh, Buildcraft at all since I don't have any of the thermal expansion stuff in here anyway, so I can't use RF. I'm pretty, pretty sure I can't use it. So, okay, now that we're there, let's just create our world. And I'm going to give this name IC2. Let's play. Uh, let's go to More World Option. And we're going to give this a seed of Malkuth. I see two, one, seven, ten. 
there that should work uh, generate structures on world type is default I don't have uh, I'm just using a default uh, thing no bonus chest allow cheats are off uh, do, 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 do. so we're all set so we're just gonna create a world and we're gonna go and see what we get Maybe it'll be something nice maybe it won't who knows it's been a long time So I just gotta get a. Am I like. Whoa. Alright, let's let everything load. One thing I do wanna check in the options is video settings. I have eight chunks. I wonder if I can go down one more. Advanced GL. I don't have any of this stuff. Alright, graphics fancy, yes. If you're wondering what I'm using for a graphics mod, uh, I use. Where the hell is that? Options. Resource pack. I use uh, the Faithful 32x32 32 32 pack because it looks like Minecraft and I've, I've pretty much fallen in love with this pack. Uh, it just basically makes it look more Minecrafty. Wow, that looks like a, a pyramid. That's pretty cool. Let's check this out. So again, this is all default world and all that stuff. Finally, I've, I've come into something that my last world, my dire wolf world, was all forest everywhere. I didn't have any open space like this or anything like that. The good thing about all this is that I actually be able to find flowers now for I can make my dyes and stuff. There's no food mods in here, it's just regular stuff. Now IC2 does have its own crops, which is why I didn't add any food like Pam's Harvest Craft or anything like that. And oh, we got some pumpkins down there. <sighs> Gotta punch some trees here. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. We went through everything that we've actually added to this mod, or to this mod. I guess you could call it a mod pack, but it's not really a mod pack. It's something you can just throw together. I have not adjusted any of. Oh, that didn't work because uh, they're all touching. I haven't adjusted any of the config files at all. I just threw the pack together, so if you ever want to play this same kind of pack and the mod list and all that stuff, all you gotta do is just throw them in there. They, it does work. I'm not not joking. One of the biggest things I'm gonna have problems with that I am used to doing in most of my mod pack is using coal as a source of power to get me started in the beginning and of course I could still do that but I always automated it with uh, MFR and using uh, its tree farm to do that as far as I know that I have no absolutely no way of automating charcoal in this game simply at least that I I I know of so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll find out. We'll just make this and lay that down. What I want is to have an axe and a pick just to get me started. This. Oh god, how bad are those? Hey, look. And right now, this is driving me up a wall because in uh, my Dire Wolf pack, I actually had a bunch of speed upgrades, and the speed my guy is going is like, is is driving me insane. I almost think it's broken, like it's not supposed to do that. But yeah, that's that's the default speed. Uh, the really sad part is I don't I don't think I I don't think this I won't have any real upgrades to that myself so hmm. something I was I was considering adding one magic pack but I really don't like magic and I like tech stuff and even though I did do a few of them oh there's an apple uh, let me see now I know there's some sheep so I can see them up here you know and the thing is when I added the journey map to uh, my game I added the one there's two options there's the like the ultimate one and there's uh, like the not cheaty one 
I have the not cheaty one, and I guess they did consider seeing animals on your map as not cheating, which is kind of strange, but whatever. I'll get rid of it in a minute here. Oh god, this guy is painfully slow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just look for a place to stay. Maybe a place to start my base. Use the map here. You always have to have all this stuff. This is all stuff Minecraft should have anyway. I'm going to look for a place to stay and we're going to go from there. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. I think I found a nice place that I'm going to try to settle. But first... I might build a house up here. I've I've been dying to have a clear clear piece of land for a while. I'm overlooking a little lake here. I have a swamp over there, a swamp land. I have forest over there. I have forest behind me. Uh, I think this is a good place to actually set up. So one of the first things I do want to do is I do need to make shelter because it is getting close to uh, night time. And I always dig in. How far I'm gonna dig in, but do this. I guess if I can uh, get Tinker's construct going as soon as possible. What is this? Granite. Oh, that's from Chisel. Chisel too. I've never seen granite in uh, Dire Wolf though. I've seen this in Slowpoke's play playthrough that he's doing right now. I was wondering where it's from. Maybe it's a something they just added. Something I don't like about Dire's, Dire Wolf's pack either that he never updates it, which is really a kind of uh, an annoying aspect of all that. Uh, really, I like to keep my uh, mod packs updated, and uh, it's just you know it's just not it's just not happening. And it, it, this one I should be able to keep you know pretty up to date with it since it's not too many big mods in here, industrial craft and uh, build craft, the two biggest uh, mods that I do have in here. I'm just making a little uh, a little room here, I'm not gonna go completely crazy. This is my first little thing where I'm gonna put some uh, things together, make a bed, to make some torches so uh, let's make a bed first I did get some wool so we can take care of that we'll put the bed right there it's getting nighttime out so let's also throw together a door and we'll throw that right there I'm gonna have to get Wow, I forgot how to make a furnace. That's pretty crazy. And I believe if we go like this, I can make some charcoal. And then I can make some other things. I've got some birch wood. I can use that as making a chest. I should probably make a double chest, huh? Uh, where can I put this? We can put that there. There's something I've always noticed that when I uh, actually play Minecraft, I always like tight spaces. Even my Dire Wolf uh, 20 uh, base. Maybe I'll do a uh, show my base on YouTube one day for Dire Wolf 20. It's like all tight, and it's like everything's like claustrophobic, you know, kind of type of type of system. And not quite sure why I like that, but it just seems to be the way I do things. Let's start putting some of this stuff away. Put that book in there. I do need to get some uh, flint from the gravel. So I'm going to need a shovel. Make a shovel here. I'll be uh, doing some interesting stuff. Get this. This will give me a few torches right off the bat. Some more sticks. Give me eight torches so we can light up in the house. And I can go to sleep since I do have a bed. Hopefully, we don't get too many monsters out there. Let's see. 
might be a couple creepers up above me. Uh, this is annoying me, so we'll use this until I break it. I've never met, dealt with this granite. I would like to put a, like to see this in chisel. I've never seen this in direwolf, so I don't quite. It must be something new. It's probably an older version of chisel in there, like everything else. Seriously, Dyer, you need to actually update your pack. Alright, uh, put that up there, that there, put that in there. I'll keep that. So I got some black wool. That, 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 that. Uh, what do we got here for that? cook some food up all right so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go get some more kind of essential resources some more blocks try to get some food going and I'll get right back and we'll uh, we'll start our try to get down into a, a pickaxe and all that stuff I'll probably get some flint now eh, I could show you guys that let's do that now just uh, getting some flint put a shovel over here Gravel. I don't need that. Do I have any more gravel in here? Yeah, I do. This whole place is made out of gravel. So all I'm trying to do is get some flint, and it's not going very well right now. Oh, there's one. Another one. There's some more. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some. Uh, Flint hunting here, and then we'll be right back. I'm not gonna keep this going, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I don't have an axe, so I'll just break this by hand, I guess. We'll have an axe in a second. So, first thing we need to make is the actual crafting station, just like that. So, makes it a little bit easier. That stuff that way, your stuff stays in the crafting station and doesn't come out. That's Tinker's construct thing. And I believe the next thing I need, of course, I don't remember how to build any of this stuff, so I'll need a tool station and part builder, stencil table. All right, so tool station, it's a crafting station, blank pattern, blank pattern. All right, yeah, okay, this stuff's coming back to me now. Let's just make these the sticks. And we'll go. Actually, it goes like this. So, about eight of those. So, crafting station. And I want these on top. We'll make a tool station. That's nice. I didn't think I'd use that much wood, but I guess I am. Whatever. Gotta do it. And then I believe the other one. Oh, that's a tool station too. Alright, I'm figure out the rest of this thing here. I need stencil table, which is just a spruce, okay, or whatever. It doesn't have to be spruce. Stencil table. Alright, so Tool station. Probably want the stencil table there. Want that there. And I believe if you put a chest behind here. Do I have enough for a chest? Yes.
Your stencils, right? Yeah. So there's actually another table. Alright. Which is. I just can't remember the name of them. Crafting station. Part number. All right, so uh, there we go. How do you build that stinky thing? Uh, I need an actual old thing. Oh, lucky I kept one, huh? So like that, like that. No, like that. No, what the? What? God there. Part builder. So that's that. Tool station, stencil table, and power builder. Where am I going to put this thing? I guess I'm going to make some more room here. Oh, you butt. Of course you just broke. Why would you not stay together for me? Pretty sure this is where you can put that. I really don't want to put another tool together. <sighs> surprise, surprise. I'm pretty sure they had their own damn chest. There it is. Pattern chest. God dang it, I knew it. Sorry, it's been a long time since I had to put this stuff together. Once I get a certain point in the game, I don't even use Tinker's Construct anymore. It's just kind of like a beginner uh, kind of thing where... Really? I just use it. I mean, it does help with mining and stuff for a little while. There, finally, I knew it. I knew it. No. You can't put an empty pattern in there, huh? What, you don't want to go in there? Don't make me mad. Just say it. I'll break your face. But anyway, here we go. So, I don't have paper yet. Yeah, I didn't even find any of that stuff. So, first thing you want to do is you want to make the head, which will be like that. And then we're going to have an axe head. That'll be like that. That'll be have a shovel head. That'll be like that. Alright. So wood wise, we're just gonna use this. I get two two. Take that out. Of course you gotta get four out of that. Of course you are. And I do need this. What sure, can I use I can. What is that? Does that give base durability? It gives you higher durability, handle modifier, mining speed for mining level iron. Attack five hearts. Not sure that's the best. Can you use dirt? No. Alright. Can you use this? Yeah. Durability, handle. Mining speed is 5.25. Mining level iron. Attack one heart. Okay. What about wood? Yeah, that's crap. Doesn't this have a. I thought these have stone bound to it or something like that. Not quite sure which one I should use because this has a modifier of base durability 131. I would say that's the winner. I'll take that out. Don't want you in there. There. And we'll go to the tool station. And we'll throw together a pickaxe. Uh, regular axe. And a shovel. That should help us with mining for now. And I'm going to need some more. Interesting stuff later, I guess. Oh, I 
actually need that. Are you done with that charcoal? Yes, so we'll cook you up. Oh, I kept that door open. I'm surprised I'm not dead. All right. So, our first day has been quite quite an interesting day. We need to go get some more wood. So I'm going to run down to the forest, get some wood. Hey, there's some over there. Or I'll just run over here. Whatever comes first. Get some more wood. Hey, there's some sand there. I'm going to need that in a minute. Uh, just chop. I just completely missed that. No. So this makes everything a little bit more easy. And I think next time we will actually start up on mining. But until then, guys, I think this is going to call it for the first episode. This episode, this episode might have ran pretty long. I'll try to do some editing to shorten it a little bit. Obviously, I have a few cuts here and there. But I would thank you guys all for watching. And We'll speed this up once we start getting to the machines and stuff. It's the first episode is always the introduction and how you're going to do everything and how everything's going to work. So for now, guys, Malkuth 1974 thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, rate, all that great stuff. We'll see you later. Malkuth, out.